I got a question. Why does Senpai have to be the crazy stuff that happened? Okay. I lost two fair uh, two friends in the span of one year. Um first will be the uh my uh, friend who I mentored when I had to go to uh um and Jay when when uh that was the year that I had COVID and I had to uh come back to uh, uh St. Louis because I only had to, uh, I only went there for the f- uh funeral. Then my uh then uh, uh year after that I found out that J V who is uh who was my mentor and uh I had to I had to find out that he had Lyme disease but also uh took his own life and now it's always in December and now there's a definite cheese now. Really? So we go from romance and the cheese to now we all of a sudden there's a that there's a death within the team. I have to report this because one, that is my team and two, this is a story that just uh just now breaking within the uh the cheese. I just saw this popped up right after I did week fifteen and uh uh the NFL pickup. This is the uh Chiefs uh Chiefs dot com new uh home of the uh, Chiefs Kingdom. But anyway, this is and I'll I'll leave the uh I'll leave the uh, the source on the uh, on the uh, market. This is ridiculous. Why in December? Anyway, this has just come out yesterday, and then they had another article uh, today. So I guess it must have just yeah, it just happened this past week. But uh, Chief Morn the and I'm gonna try to read as much as the article as I can without going crazy. And if I need to stop, then I I will put the uh, the rest in the um on the marquee so you can read it for yourself. <sighs> okay, here we go. Uh, Chief mourned the passing of former offensive lineman and ambassador Ed, Ed but- Buddy. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs are starting to share the passing of Chief Hall of Fame offensive line- lineman and Kansas-, Kansas City ambassador Ed Buddy. Um... My, and then it goes on to say, my family and I are deeply saddened by the passing of Chiefs Hall of Fame famer Ed Buddy, uh, Chiefs Chairman and CEO Clark Hunt said. Ed spent his entire 14-year career with the Chiefs, and he was a cornerstone of those early Chiefs teams that brought pro football to Kansas City. He never missed a game in the first nine seasons of his career, and he rightfully earned recognition as All-Star, a Pro Bowler, and a Super Bowl champion. After his playing career, Ed uh, Ed remained yeah, Ed remained connected to the Chiefs organization and was a founding member of the Kansas City Ambassadors. Uh, he was well loved in the Kansas City community, and he was a great father to uh, Brad. And I'm not gonna butcher the name because this is a sad time for the Chiefs organization, and also uh, John. Uh, my family and the entire Chiefs organization extended our uh, sincere condolences to Carolyn and the Buddy family. Uh, football will be forever hold a special place in the Buddy family's heart. As Ed Buddy and his son Brad are the only father-son duo to be drafted in the first round to the same team at the same position. Ed Buddy was uh, selected in the first round of the 1963 AFL draft, while Brad was selected in the first round of the 1980 NFL draft. Both as a guard, Eddie and Brad were guests of the NFL and the Kansas City Chiefs at the 2023 NFL draft announcing the Kansas City Chiefs selection of running uh, wide, no, wide receiver. WR means wide receiver. Uh, Rashi Rice. 
uh, to get her on stage at Union Station in Kansas City. And kind of a, a long eulogy, but I will let you I will let let you read the rest of the, the story when I put it on the marquee. So uh again, uh very sad and unfortunate news for the Chiefs, even after uh they have a a, a romance with um Taylor Swift and, and um and uh Travis K. Now we had the uh the passing of former offensive lineman and ambassador Ed, Ed Buddy. Uh, once again, this week, uh, offensive lineman and ambassador Ed Buddy have passed away. It doesn't see. Oh, it doesn't show what age he was. Let me see what age he was when he passed. I gotta find this out. Uh, no, it doesn't say. It doesn't say how old, but I will. I will lead you this. Uh, this. Um, this. Uh, this story on the marquee. But uh, wow. Otherwise, always in December. Always in December. Wow. Deepest condolences to the uh, Buddy family from the Big D zone as well.